good evening. Yes, it is that time of the week once again. I have my uh, beautiful music going on at the moment and I'll see how that goes, whether I need to sort of stop that or put something different on. In fact, I might just do that now before we get underway. How is everyone? How was your weekend? Um, it's good to see a few names and numbers and people popping up. Hi, Danielle. Hello from the UK. Um, I think I might have read for Danielle before. Your name rings a bell. Um, yeah, so welcome. Thank you for tuning in. Um, I've got a couple of people that I've written down already here that I'd like to maybe connect with. Um, so we'll see how we go with that. Uh, but certainly, hi Kim. Um, let me know if you are here. I'm just going to turn my iPad onto silent. There we go. Okay. All right. So welcome, Danielle, Tanya. Hello, Tanya. Um, oh gosh, there's lots of people. Karen. Oh, thanks, Karen. Hi, Mick. Hi, Mick. I've been thinking about you, Mick. I've been thinking about you. Um, I might draw a card for Mick. Just see where you're at. Uh, let me know if there's anything in particular, of course, to Neil. Hi, Danielle, um, that you want me to look out for you. Now, I do have a lady who contacted me earlier who wanted um, a reading for her fur baby. So I'm just going to do that um, and just see if uh, said fur baby, how they're doing. Um, so I like to use my uh, fairy cards for animals, uh, children, they're doing virtue. So they're super um, good for all that sort of stuff. Hi, Debbie. Um, so when I'm looking across, I'm cross-posting to my uh, Michelle R. Price writer and clairvoyant page. And look at my nails, peeps. Look at this. You got that going on. Um, I don't usually do nail polish, but I was like, you know, maybe I'll do nail polish and see how card reading goes with nail polish. So let's see what the nail polish looks like at the end of the night. And uh, yeah, be an interesting little test. It'd be an interesting little test. Um, hi, Danielle. Hi, Alicia. Hi, Carly. Sophie Barbie, hello. Um, welcome to everyone. If you haven't seen me before, I do angel card readings. I also do mediumship and I have been incorporating a little bit of mediumship into my connections on a Monday night. Um, so it does take a little bit of time, um, but I do like to do a little bit of mediumship just to challenge myself um, and get that confirmation. Hi, Lisa, um, that you guys are after. Hi, Sarah Marie. Okay, so I'm just going to come to um, Elisa um, because she was after a little bit of info about her beautiful fur baby. Um, which is absolutely heartbreaking, especially after 19 and a half years. Incredible. So I've got my fairy cards and I just want to get a little bit of guidance for um, Elisa. Um, apologies if you can hear my dog. Uh, she's just chewing on a bit of rawhide. Um, so if that's you can hear chewing, that's what's going on on the floor next to me. Yeah. All right. So, um, yes. And also if you want to book private readings, um, if you like what you see, um, the link is in the post uh, link to this video. And I've got a little book now function. All right, so I'm just going to connect to Elisa. Um, and this is losing her fur baby of 19 and a half years. Elisa, I just want to say to you, um, I was thinking about you before I came on. Um, and I got like kind of a um, Sherlock Holmes. And what I sort of linked to that, and I don't know why, I went from Sherlock Holmes to like that um, bloodhound kind of dog where it's like I've got my nose on the ground constantly and I'm just sniffing, sniffing, sniffing. Um, so that was what I was sort of feeling before I connected tonight, um, which I thought was quite interesting. Now, um, this is you at the moment. So patience, please. Okay. Um, apologies for the glare, uh, patience, please. Okay. So this is patience around, um, trusting, you know, the grieving process and going through that, um, and honoring your fur baby in that one, in that way by doing that. Um, it's really important. Uh, we also have... A few newbies, a few newcomers here. Um, so this isn't so much around fur baby, but this is around uh, potential, you know, move, move on the cards. Um, and you know what this feels like? It actually feels like um, very heart space. Um, it feels like I really want to do this. I need the, the shift almost, um, a shift. It's going to change my mood. Um, but just be gentle with yourself. Um, we don't want to be doing that, certainly at the moment. I hope you're not going through that right now. Um, but patience with the grieving, working through that. And I'm seeing a new home. And look at this. New everything. New career as well. Um, that's career sort of moving in a different um, direction. And I don't know if that's related to COVID-19, but I feel like it's given me uh, room for thought. Um, and I'm thinking a little bit differently about, ooh, you know, perhaps I could move in a different direction to what I thought was possible before, which I like. 
um, Elisa, that is for you. Um, and yeah, let me know about the, the whole nose thing because I just feel like my nose is to the ground and I've got a great sense of smell. But it reminded me, for some reason I was going with the Sherlock Holmes, but it led me to this kind of beagle, you know, that has a really good sense of smell, like you see at the airport, or like a bloodhound. I'm um, not suggesting that's the kind of dog, um, but it just felt like that. You know, I've got my nose to the ground, got my nose to the ground. Okay. Hi, Karen. Hi, Danielle. Um, Danielle Stevens, I will do a relationship. Um, really, love a card on relationship. Um, Danielle, let me do a card for you, hum. I am drawn to you, um, and we are doing relationship. Okay. Gosh, that's a lot of a lot of letters and a lot of words. Take some time. Oh, oh, girl, that's so sad. A lot of people losing their pets and um and sharing that info. Yeah, it's not fun, hun. I um I've been there, and it was uh, certainly very difficult for my husband and I going through that. Let me tell you, it is not fun. But um, you know, it makes you appreciate the time that you have with them. You know, they don't live as long as us, but boy, do they have an impact. Yeah, we're closer to our pets often than uh, some of our family members. Okay, so Danielle Stevens, I'm just going to draw a few around relationship. You've caught my eye. Um, hi, Maria. Hi, Justin. My old mate, Justin. Jay, Joe Schaefer. Oh, thank you, Joe. Yeah, I was just rabbiting on about my nails. Uh, my husband's watching. Hello, husband. Driving home from work. Uh, it's my husband's birthday today, uh, 41. So, um, yeah, um, I'm only 21. Uh, I like to date old men, uh, just so you know. Um, actually, I am the older woman. However, uh, he's driving home, so hello, hubby, and um, have a wonderful uh, 41st birthday. Now everyone knows. Dog you in. All right, Danielle, I'm just going to come to you for relationships. Um, hi, Catherine, my darling. Hello, hello. Um, any developments with the relationship, Catherine? You'll have to uh, fill me in, private message me. Uh, Casey, hello, darling. Hello, Zoe. Um, Oh, perfect. Oh, that was so much fun. I read for Zoe on the weekend, had a little quick catch up. That was so much fun. Oh, lots of happy birthdays to my husband. Beautiful. All right. So um, I've only written a few names down, guys. So if you do have um, anything in particular you would like uh, me to draw around, um, I do, I guess, a lot of relationship, um, quite in-depth relationship readings one-on-one. -on -one. Um, I'm a healer, so I do um, healing in every reading um, in terms of giving advice around health and, and how you might be feeling. So if you have any health qu uh, queries or questions tonight, please let me know um, and I'll start writing some uh, some names down. I'm also going to sort of duck backwards and forwards between my page and that's why I'm looking to my left. Okay, um, alrighty. So, hi, Leanna. All right, so I'm just going to draw for Danielle Stevens. This is for relationship. Um, so let me just come to you, Danielle. I'm just going to come into your energy, my darling. Hang on one second for me. Danielle, I've got to be really honest, uh, coming into your space, I feel like um, the other person is kind of all given all, uh, no take. No, hang on, no given all take, the other way around. Um, so I feel like the relationships that I'm choosing, um, I'm choosing, it's like if there's something to do with receiving with you. Um, so it always comes back to us because we're, you know, like attracts like, it's a law of attraction. Um, but I just want to say with you, I want to think a little bit about receiving, um, being open to receiving, because I feel like you're going to attract a different kind of person. At the moment, it feels like um, I'm not sad, my needs aren't being satisfied. Um, so I really want to have a think about self love, self worth, um, all that sort of stuff within me. All right, so this is where your query is. That's good confirmation, isn't it? Yeah, that's where we're uh, at at the moment. So recent past leading into present, yeah. Um, right now, divine timing, okay. So I feel like we're doing a little bit of work. I feel like we're doing a little bit of work. Let me just connect to this card. Um, this is Danielle Stevens, okay. I feel like I just want to do a little bit of compromising. Um, now, I don't feel like this is always our partner's fault. I feel like sometimes um, I like to sort of take control, and this is quite common with a lot of women um, that I know. And it's like sometimes we need to let the guy know that we need help and we need assistance, and that's all about receiving. So, angel of romance, recent past leading into now. Uh, divine timing is about coming to terms with the fact that I need to communicate maybe a little bit better um, and voice my needs. And if they're not met, perhaps I move on. Um, so it's about boundaries, yeah, and being really clear about that. Uh, this is looking ahead, okay? So this is an indication that there could be a bit of um, emotional stuff coming, um, a bit of a, you know, rocky road ahead, yeah? Not smooth sailing. Let me just check. 
You know what actually feels like the way the spirit's showing me, Danielle, is it's like I'm in a jungle and it's like there's vines. There's vines coming down and some of them are pulling at my clothes and it's kind of hard to get through. I feel like I'm making it more difficult than um, it really needs to be. So it definitely comes back to you. Um, I want you to do a little bit of self-work um, around, you know, self-worth, self-love, all of those uh, fun things that we love to hear that we've got to do work on. Um, but it doesn't have to be hard, yeah? It doesn't have to be hard, I promise you. Um, but it comes back to you. And I feel, you know, that law of attraction, if you put it out there and it's like your needs still aren't being met, you do need to look at receiving, but you also need to say, okay, maybe that's not the right relationship for me, okay? Um, so that's Danielle. Um, hi, Sarah Marie. Um, oh, Justin. Yeah, I've never drawn for Justin before. Let me draw a card for you, mate. Let me draw a card for you. All right, so Danielle Stevens, relationship. Mick, I'm coming to you, mate. I'm coming to Mick. All right, so um, hello from WA, Tash. Yay, I haven't seen your name before, huh? I'm going to um, draw a card for you, Tash, from WA. Um, I'm going to put you on my list. So, Tash, let me know if there's anything specific um, that you want me to draw around for you, huh? Tash Pinto, W-A. Let me know if there's anything specific. Otherwise, I'll just draw whatever comes out. It's nice to see different names. Nice to see different names. Hi, Amy. I don't think I've seen you either. Uh, okay, so Tash. Ah, uh, Mick. Sorry, Mick, Mick, Mick. Um, where am I going to draw from for Mick? Which deck do I want to... Maybe fairies? I think I always do fairies for Mick. I don't know why. Uh, Mick. I'm changing my mind, mate, and women are entitled to do that. It's uh, in our DNA. I'm sure it's in the um, guidebook to women. Women can change your mind. Goddess guidance. Goddess guidance. All right, so I'm just going to come to Mick, um, and if you are just uh, logging on, hello. Uh, oh, my God, someone from Hong Kong. That's incredible. Yeshma, Yeshma. I'm putting you down. This is exciting. Wow, Hong Kong. Fantastic. Love it. Um, Yeshma, let me know if there's anything specific that you would like me to um, read around. Um, let me know. Tash, anything you feel? Okay, wonderful. So Tash has nothing specific. Um, I'm drawing a card for Justin. Um, Tash from WA. Yeshma from Hong Kong. Yay, Yeshma. Let me know if there's anything specific. Otherwise, um, I will just draw whatever, uh, whatever pops out of my old deck. Yeah. Um, okay, so for private bookings as well, you can click on the um, uh, post just above, link to, oh, Amy, I'm from the Gold Coast, nice, early heads. Um, oh, God, you got me. <laughs> um, excellent. Uh, yeah, so click on this uh, post, a link to this video, and my uh, link is in there to my page, and you can book uh, private readings, healings, I do paranormal entity clearings, I've been doing a couple of those lately. Um, so I do all that sort of stuff. I was a paranormal investigator, uh, more from the psychic perspective um, than scientific, um, for eight years on the Gold Coast. So I'm glad to see someone uh, is from Burley Heads. That's really exciting. Okay, Mick, I'm just going to draw a general card for you, mate. Um, so just bear with me. Um, and hello to all the new people. Hello, Michael from Mackay. My darling Michael Lorberg. Um, Michael Lorberg is a speed skater, um, and I used to speed skate with Michael. He's very, very talented, and he owned a roller skating rink too. Uh, hi, Liz. Hi, Cassie. Barbie. Oh, hi, Barbie. What a cute name. Oh, gosh, that's sad. A landlord's demolishing a house after nine years. Um, Barbie. I will come to you because your name stands out to me. Your name stands out to me. Uh, that's Barbie. I will come back to you. So if you're on my list, uh, just stay on the line and I will definitely come to you. I've just got you on my list. Um, house being demolished. Okay. Let's see what's going on there. That uh, doesn't sound like any, any fun for you, Barbie. Let's just put it that way. Okay. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Um, so, uh, Mick. Mick. This is about... Not what it sounds like. You're not going to get pregnant, so don't worry. Um, this is about creativity. Um, so this is giving birth to new ideas, uh, new ways of thinking, um, really widening your scope. And I know you've been looking into, I guess, more the spiritual side of things, hence the reason you know that we um, know each other. Um, but I feel like I'm sort of using that and applying that and sort of really using my intuition more, if that makes sense. So I feel like I'm tr trusting my gut uh, more than I would have in the past, which is really good. Um, I feel like you're on the right track. Um, this is standing your ground. 
standing ground, okay? Um, so being really firm um, in your opinions. And this is around uh, boundaries as well for you. Um, so around family, you know, kids, um, partner. Um, being really clear about your boundaries um, and making sure they understand that because it's like your time is important, you know? And I feel like sometimes people can kind of take advantage of that with you. Um, so I hope that makes sense. But I really feel like you're starting to trust your intuition and your gut more. Um, you're switching on that sensitivity, mate. Super proud. Super proud. Um, that's a big development. Big development. All right, Nick. So, Justin, um, doing a few of the boys tonight. Doing a few of the boys. Hi, Brian. Another boy. I just saw a name pop up. Probably shouldn't say boy, should I? It's a bit, um, a bit too many. Um, Dave, what's going on, mate? What's going on? Um, have you found out any results yet? Uh, Dave came to me for relation, uh, reading about his exams and things. Um, so I'm very keen. Ooh, Dave. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm very keen to find out about the exam situation, um, where that's at. Um, hi, Kerry. Kerry Berry. Oh my God. I love your name. Oh my God. Kerry Berry. I've got to write you down. Um, oh, roller skater. Oh, that's fantastic. Love that. Kerry. Oh gosh. Hang on. You disappeared. Uh, Kerry Berry, um, God, I love your name. That's fabulous. Is that your real name? That's just brilliant. Um, love, love, love. Figure roller skater. Um, so off your path, um, illness, unlike last, I feel like I'm on my, and unlike last time, illness and life has taken my drive. We'll get out back now. Um, so, okay, I'm going to look around health for you, Kerry Berry. Um, fabulous to see another roller skater on here. Um, I could do a few turns and things, but mostly I was into my speed. Um, Wow, what a fabulous name. Fabulous. All right, Justin, this is for you, mate. So one card reading. Here we go for Justin. Justin I've known since I was about 15. Um, we have known each other for a very, very, very long time. Um, so it's wonderful to see his name pop up here like a brother. Um, so I thought I'd just throw in a reading for Jay. Okay. Um, so if you are popping on, let me know where you're from. I've seen some people. I've got someone from Hong Kong on my little list here, um, which is really awesome. Um, Justin, this is, this is for you. Um, this is about taking time out, um, being sensitive, um, to noise, um, you know, partying and not that you're out, you know, doing that sort of thing, but just, uh, drama, you know, getting away from drama, um, and just really going within, um, meditation would be fabulous, but even just creating space, you know, where you're sort of, I know you love to drive, you know, get in your car, go for a drive. Um, I just feel like I want to do a lot of good things that make me happy, a lot of things that make me happy um, and really focus on that. I feel like I want to get back to that kind of, you know, happy medium um, where I feel good. So spending some time alone, um, not going out uh, and going crazy, all right? I think your wife will be very happy with that advice. Okay, Tash Pinto, I'm coming to Western Australia um, with Tash. Okay, so let me just grab my angel therapy cards. This is for Tash Pinto. Um, oh, by desert, beautiful spot, beautiful place. Love, love, love. Um, that's wonderful, wonderful. Uh, Mick, wonderful. Kerry Berry, yes, real name. Oh, I love that, Kerry. That is fabulous. Um, Scenic Room is beautiful. I lived on the Gold Coast for 12 years. Um, so, really great spot. Um, hello to everyone who's coming on. Another Western Australia person, another Gold Coast person. Beautiful. Hello, everyone. Hello, uh, Holly from Tasmania. Um, so, as you come on, I am an angel card reader, as I mentioned earlier. Um, I do healings, paranormal clearings, all that sort of stuff. So, if any of that rings your bell, um, click on the post link to this video and I've got a little link there and you can jump on my page and I've got a book now function um, and you can book privates. Oh gosh, Tash. So, um, that was easy. I didn't have to do anything. Tash is in Western Australia. Um, you got the fairy card. So, um, that's an easy one. Uh, so, Tash, fairies grant our requests. So, there's a need here or spirits, you know, letting me know that there's a need here um, that you uh, need answered. And what that is, it can be uh, money. Um, so they can deliver all sorts of things, um, houses, new houses, career, all that sort of stuff. But what they request from you is picking up rubbish, which is funny. Um, this is called, according to Doreen Virtues 101, fairies, uh, fairies 101. Um, so whatever you request, they can grant um, and they just require you to pick up some rubbish, maybe leave some crystals, shiny things, alfoil around your garden. Uh, and the fairies love that. So let me just see what this is for you, this is for Tash. This is very heart space. So it's like, I'm very uh, selfless. 
So it's like, I'm not asking for stuff um, necessarily for me, but it just feels like more around my family. Um, so safety, security, you know, that sort of thing. And these guys, the fairies look after, um, as I said before, you know, pets, uh, children, especially health, all those sorts of things. Um, so your needs are going to be met. Uh, maybe just do a little, a few um, favours for the fairies and that's picking up rubbish and all that sort of, isn't she beautiful? Picking up rubbish. Um, and putting that request out there and making it very clear. But it does feel very heart space for me. I don't feel like this is something that you're necessarily asking for just for yourself. Um, it, feel, it feels more around sort of family as a whole um, and some concerns around that. Yeshma, Yeshma in Hong Kong. Hello, Yeshma. Yeah, total sign. Cassie, I'm going to like that. Absolutely. Cassie was saying the card that jumps out, complete sign. I've had cards fly out and hit my books. Wow. Uh, cards flying and hit my bookshelf, speaking of cards flying out. Um, so, uh, Yeshma, hopefully you're still here, sweetheart. Um, that one jumped out for you. Um, so, let me just come to that. I'm just going to connect to your energy. Um, I actually didn't. That flew out before I could even really do anything. Hi, Yeshma. Okay, so you're still there. All right, let me just connect to your energy. Hang on a sec because we've got purification. Um, and that's usually around a detox, um, eating, drinking better. Um, and, you know, loud noises, avoiding that. Similar to the card that Jay got, Justin. Um, so let me just connect to your energy and see what's going on. Um, yes, I just got to say with you, I do feel a little toxic. So when I come into your um, energy field, I do feel a little bit toxic. Um, so I just feel like I'm out of balance. Um, and I may want to do something around, the, you know, there's an alkaline diet. I feel like I need to do something to bring my alkalinity um, back into balance. So my pH, I should say, back into balance. Um, but I feel like you want to do some alkaline foods. Um, I do feel a little bit toxic and I'm not feeling 100%. Um, so that's what this is. This is generally about purification. So that's your detox, which is watching what you're eating and drinking and putting into your body uh, and not being around sort of drama, similar to what I said to Justin. But I feel like um, I also need to even up my alkalinity. Um, so really watch my pH, okay? Um, that's the Yashma. Barbie, Barbie, your house was demolished. I'm going to come to Barbie. Hi, Lorene, Statham, Blair. Oh, Lorene, of course, that was an amazing skater. Lorene's just talking up my skating abilities. Um, I can still skate pretty fast. I do still go for a rollerblade around where I live. Um, I Deborah from the sunny coast. Ah, thanks, Deborah. Deborah's a mate of mine, so she's um, yeah, being being a little obvious. Um, but that's wonderful, Deborah. Thank you for specifying. Uh, romance or health, PJ. Yay! I like your name too. PJ, I'm going to come to you, so don't go anywhere. I have put you down on my list, and you're after romance or health. Maybe we can do both. Yeah, that'd be good. While well, I'm uh, shuffling, yeah, we can kill two birds with one stone. Hi, Tracy Ann. Hello, my sweet. Hello, hello. Um, okay, so let's look here. Um, okay, so Barbie, house, house, whoa, another one, house demolished. Now... These cards are just flying out everywhere. I did feel like there was going to be some interference from my spirit guides um, and my spirit team, and it seems like that's the case, folks. It seems like that is the case. Now, um, Barbie, this is a request for you to ask for assistance with this. Um, I feel like it's such a sad situation, um, but I do feel like there's assistance and you're being guided. Um, so what this is telling me, it's like I just need to kind of ask for help um, and put it out there and wait for it to be answered. But when you put that request out there, make sure you say thank you in advance, yeah, and wait for the answer to come to you. Um, there is going to be another place. You're not going to be homeless. I'm not feeling like that for you. There is going to be another place that will come up. I feel like put the request out there, though, um, for that to happen, and then just when you're guided to, you know, jump on realestate.com or whatever the, you know, platform you use, um, and just use your intuition to guide you to the house, if that makes sense. But put the request out there first and then take the action, okay? But always thank you in advance when you ask for anything. Um, but I feel like it's going to be an okay outcome. It's just going to, it does feel a little rocky in the middle because it's a bit uncomfortable. It's like, you know, we've got to, um, you know, move from this place and find somewhere else and it's never fun. Um, but put the request out, thank you in advance, and then follow your intuition um, and be guided. But it feels like it's going to be a great outcome. Uh, Kerry Berry, I'm coming to you. Um, so do I want to do, I think I'm going to do my fairy cards for Kerry Berry. Um, and you were just asking around health. Okay, so let me just come into your space. I'm just going to start shuffling. Um, and basically, you won't feel a thing. It doesn't hurt, I promise. Um, 
Oh, Tash and George Banks. Um, so I'm guessing this is Tash, our new job. Tash, I'm going to add you to my list. Um, and this is a new job you're asking about. Uh, whoa, things are flying. Things are flying. Oh, Debbie, what's going on? What's the odd situation, huh? Um, you have to let me know. I didn't see an earlier message, maybe. Uh, new job Wednesday. would love to know if this is my turn. Um, so I'm guessing this is Tash, new job. Um, Wednesday, let me look. Let me look. That's exciting. Um, that's very exciting. Okay. Gary Berry, I'm just going to come into your space now. I'm just going to connect to you and just check in with you physically um, and just mention anything. My cards are upside down, I think. Uh, just mention anything that I need to mention around that. Okay. Whoops. Oh my gosh, it's flying everywhere. Let me just put some of this on. Oh, Salote, Salote, yes, yes. Relationship. You are on my list, don't go anywhere. Okay, Kerry, I'm coming in for energy now. Kerry Berry. Okay. I actually see, um, interestingly, I see quite a bit of light around your crown. Yeah. Um, what that's indicative of is that um, you do or, or have some sort of meditation practice because I'm seeing a fair bit of light around there. I'm not saying that it's flowing necessarily. I'm not seeing the energy flow through your body terribly well, but I'm seeing certainly the light up there. Um, so that's a connection. That's a connection to spirit, which is awesome. Um, it'd be wonderful if you could um, connect a little bit. Um, and maybe start that energy flowing through because I'm seeing it just sitting in crown space there nicely. Okay, so good connection. Um, perhaps we just need to open that up. One of the practices I do is actually do a little smudge around my crown um, and see what that feels like. And I sort of do it until I feel like, yeah, you know, that's that's not too bad. Um, so maybe try some smudging um, of your crown to allow that energy to come in properly. Okay, let me just check. Let me just check with you. Kerry, I just want to point out, for some reason, my right ear, and it's probably going to be your left ear, um, is achy. Um, so I feel like there's something going on in that, and it doesn't feel like spirit. Um, okay, so that's the card that just popped out, just flipped upside down. Um, so there's some healing, yeah, some healing happening, healing required. Um, so I'm coming into my right ear, it's going to be your left ear. Uh, I'm achy in there. Um, it feels like it could be, I don't know if I'm going right into the middle ear, um, but it's it's painful, yeah, it's painful. Um, so that could even be putting you off balance, you know, it could even be putting you off balance. Um, what else am I feeling, Carrie? Carrie, I also just feel like I want to say to you, um, maybe if you can drink a bit more fluid uh, during the day, so this would be water, anything plain, um, because I'm sort of feeling like my, wow, my ear, my ear just completely went deaf. Carrie, this is spirit. I was wrong. This is spirit. My ear went completely deaf, my right ear. There's a male spirit um, trying to communicate with you. So if you can um, relate to that, and this is actually in my right ear, yeah, so then that's masculine. Um, so if you're noticing this in your right ear where you're going deaf and then ringing, which is exactly what happened to me, someone's trying to communicate with you. Someone's trying to communicate. Uh, so it is spirit. They proved me wrong. Um, yeah, it was interesting because it actually hurt though. Um, which isn't normal for me. Um, okay, so we're talking about the light being up here. We've got spirit trying to communicate. It's coming in my right ear, so I'm going with masculine entity, um, which is good. You know, it's not a bad vibe. It's um, someone who's passed over, so it's all good. Um, I just feel like I want to give my uh, kidneys a little bit of attention. Um, so more fluids, please. Um, really important, especially because um, it's very cold and I've noticed my mouth's getting very dry. So it's actually quite drying in winter. And I think sometimes we drink more in summer because we're like sweating and stuff like that. Um, but it's super important to have that in, in winter as well. Um, okay, so healing, heal, healer healed. Um, there's an indication there's healing happening and you're also getting some guidance um, and someone's trying to communicate with you. So just um, confirm with me around the ear if you've noticed that going deaf and then ringing and stuff like that because there's definitely someone trying to communicate. Okay, uh, Kerry Berry, that was fabulous. I loved connecting with you. Um, for private bookings, guys, if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one with me, um, reading, angel card reading, mediumship, um, healing, I'm a pranic energy healer and a Reiki practitioner. Um, and I also do paranormal entity clearings as well. So there's a link in this post. 
um, and you can click on that and uh, certainly book anything you would like. Um, Kaz, Kaz, oh gosh, everything just disappeared. Um, oh, you do here, brilliant, brilliant. Okay, so that was spirit. Yeah, it actually made my ear ache. Oh, you know what that is, Kerry? I'm still communicating with Kerry Berry at the moment. Um, when you're not listening, um, it feels like they're really trying hard and it's actually hurting my ear. Um, Kaz, I'm just going to come in and check your energy, hum. Um, so just bear with me. You are out on my list, so don't go anywhere. Um, yeah, Kerry, I feel like we want to um, just, you know, set the intention that it's okay um, for your ears to adjust. That's all I do when I come into readings um, is I just set the intention that I want my ears to adjust to the right frequency so I can hear spirit um, and just allow that. Yeah, just allow that. Um, because they're definitely trying to communicate. They're really trying to get some messages through to you. Um, and yes, if you want to connect one-on-one, -on -one, as I said, I'll click on the link and click book now, which is in this post. Uh, PJ, romance or health? Let me just connect to PJ. Hello to everyone um, who is watching tonight. I'm Michelle Brewer. Um, I do angel card readings, as I just mentioned, mediumship, um, a bit of paranormal um, entity work. Um, wow. Yeah, wow. Kerry, that's awesome. That's awesome. Um, yeah, it will sound like tinnitus or feel like tinnitus. Um, yeah, off path. Okay. Um, yeah, Kerry, I really want you to do a smudging of your crown. I really feel like that's important because the light's sitting there, love. It's sitting there. Yeah, it just doesn't feel like it's getting through. Um, and you'll know what I'm what I'm talking about when you do the smudge. You'll be able to feel it because you're sensitive. Okay, PJ, romance or health? Which way are we going? Um, PJ, let me just come into your energy uh, and I will connect with you and let you know what I am feeling. Okay. Um, and yes, if we are logging on, uh, let me know where you're from and what you're after. Uh, and I still have a bit of space. Um, Chantel, anxiety. Let me come to you too, Chantel, because that's important. Anxiety is not fun for anyone. Um, so don't go anywhere, Chantel. I will come to you. You are on my list. Okay. All right. So I'm just on PJ at the moment and I'm just going to connect to PJ's energy. Okay. Romance or health. PJ, I feel like you're a little bit stuck um, and I have to be really honest. I do feel like you're a little bit stuck. Um, I feel like I'm sort of looking for answers, but again, I just don't know that I'm fully trusting. I don't feel like I'm fully trusting. Um, so it's like I'm looking for the answers and, uh, you know, spirits kind of, you know, giving these messages and putting these things in front of you. But I feel like PJ, I'm sort of looking off into the future uh, and maybe not being as present as I could. Um, and what I want to say with you is just to, maybe have a bit of a grounding process um, where I go outside, bare feet on the grass, that sort of thing, and just connect to Mother Earth. Um, I feel like that's really important for you. Uh, I do feel like I'm sort of off in the future, sometimes off in the past. I'm not totally present. So I feel like I just want to work through that um, before, you know, potentially welcoming any romance. Um, it's also going to be better for your health because I don't feel entirely connected. Um, sometimes it can be up, a bit up in my head. Um, I really want to come back down to an earth level um, and that requires a grounding exercise, yeah? Um, routine, habit, all of that sort of stuff. Um, okay, so let me just connect again to health. Let's look at health with PJ. Uh, the saying that Spirit's letting me know with you is I can be off with the fairies um, and that's what can happen with me. If I do a lot of readings and I don't earth myself and ground and ground the sun, uh, I will be off with the fairies. It's, it's normal. Um, so I feel like a grounding practice is really super important for you. I also feel like cleansing and protecting for you um, because I do feel like a bit of an empath and I feel like I pick up other people's stuff and it's not necessarily my stuff to deal with. Um, so I really want you to have a look at that. This is PJ. Okay, so let me just draw a couple of cards. I feel like I want to get that sorted um, before I focus too much on, um, you know, relationships and things like that. I feel like I really want to put some attention around that. Um, yeah, that's good confirmation. So detoxification as well. Um, I just feel like you're super sensitive and a few of the readings have gone this way tonight, haven't they? Um, a lot of you have something in common with each other. Um, so again, this has come up for another person tonight as well. Uh, it's about just being aware uh, and listening to your body more. Uh, and this is probably more around the health because I feel like that's important to sort out first. It's nothing dire, you know, I'm not picking up anything, you know, significant there. It's just that I feel like I want to, you know, practice that grounding and sort of come back down to earth um, a little bit more and also be present, yeah, which is alignment, coming into alignment. 
Uh, Tash, new job. We have a job interview. Let me grab my life purpose cards for this. This is a biggie. Um, so Tash, let me come into this. Now you've got a job interview. Oh, very much an empath, PJ. Great. Good confirmation. Um, I feel like that's just important um, to sort of work through that now because it can be challenging, you know, to work through those um, issues. And also getting into the habit of doing something for yourself. Yeah, I mean, I struggle with that. You know, I have a blank space in my calendar and I'm like, oh my God, I've got to fill this space. You know what's going on? It's, it's difficult to take time for ourselves, but we burn out if we don't do that. We just burn out. So um, really important, really important. Um, okay, so Tasha, I'm coming to, whoa, coming to you. Um, I don't know if these are cards for you guys or if they're just sort of flying around the room. Who knows? Um, okay, so we've got a job interview job interview oh tracy Ann, thank you for recommending your daughter she's just beautiful i just did a reading for tracy Ann's daughter today um she is a great kid love 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 um great guy she's with too really like him hi jules uh gaylene general guidance new zealand yay love new zealand i've read for lots of people in new zealand gaylene my husband's from new zealand it's his birthday today um in case he went on earlier he turned 41 uh happy birthday hubby um general guidance from new zealand yay that's so cool yeah i've been reading for a lot of um people in new zealand people in new zealand or people considering moving to new zealand holy white man um okay tash i'm just going to come to you this is around the new job and i've just got my life purpose cards at the moment um so let's see what comes up uh donna lee new to live would love a message from spirit to let me know if i'm on the right path i was bedridden for over four years holy moly and I'm having to start all over. Thank you for your time and for sharing your gift. Wow, Donna Lee. Man, I tell you, um, hopefully I'll get time to get to you. I'm going to put you on my list. Health, that's incredible. That's incredible. I don't know how you did that. That would drive me batty, 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 batty. Um, hi, Zoe. Hello. All right, Tash, new job. Let's look at this. Wednesday, job interview. How am I feeling about that? Um, Tash, what I just want to say to you, hon, is... Um, Maybe just watch, because I feel like I'm quite uh, doing a bit of anticipation. So what I want to say to you is just like, you know, um, if I get the job, great. If I don't, you know, that's okay too. And I feel like I just, there's a little bit of pressure there. Um, and sometimes pressure can be a blocker. It's a little bit like a, uh, having expectations, yeah? So if someone comes to me with expectations in a reading, I will always say to them, you know, just take some deep breaths, let go. Whatever spirit brings through is accurate for you right now. Da, da, da. I just feel like I want to release some of the pressure. Um, and I know you're excited about it. It's coming across as excitement. But we just want to make sure that we don't have expectations. Um, too much anticipation um, can also block. So it's like, you know, I just feel like release the pressure a little bit and just allow, okay? Um, but I'm going to draw a card for you as well. These are life purpose cards. Okay. Good luck with your job interview. Um, it's very nerve-wracking. Very, very nerve-wracking. Okay. Tasha, I do feel like brighter things are on the horizon though. So while I'm just connecting to your energy, um, I do feel like brighter things are on the horizon for you. Um, whether it's this job or not, that's what I'm just going to check in with. But um, I do feel like there's good things coming. So if it's not this, it won't be too long um, because I feel like you're going to be rewarded. And it feels like faith. Yeah, beautiful. Um, freedom. So this is up to you to choose. So I feel like you've done the work, mate. I feel like you've done the work. I want to just ease the pressure off in the lead up to this particular interview, though, um, because you want to make sure that you're open to whatever happens, whatever the outcome is. But what the freedom card is, is literally, you can do whatever the hell you want. Um, it's like, I don't even feel like this job that's coming up, the job interview, is the be all and end all. Because I feel like, you know, if this doesn't come through, there'll be something else. I just will see really bright things for you. Um, but I don't know that I'd be putting all my chickens in one basket. Um, I would definitely still be keeping my eyes open. Because I feel like if it's not this, it's going to be something very soon. And it's like, I feel like you've done the work. So you're going to be rewarded. Absolutely. Um, so not maybe this one. If not that, very soon after that. Um, but it just keep paying attention to your intuition too. But just not too much pressure. You don't put too much pressure on that one opportunity. Okay. So Lotte, I'm going to draw a card for you around relationship. Um yes 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 um elizabeth hello darling i don't think i've seen your name before um nervous energy gone lee lee you have a lot going on huh you have a lot client daughter wow we um 
Yeah, a lot going on. Um, okay, so if you just, oh, today's my mum's 93rd birthday. Wow, wee. Um, Lynette, I'm going to come to you, Lynette Larder. So just stay tuned. I'm going to do my best to get there. I've got a few people to get through, but I will do my best. Uh, 93rd birthday. Wow. Yeah, I'm actually feeling a good connection with mum. So Lynette, just stay there um, and I'll do my best to get to you. Um, for another 15, more than 15 minutes. So we should be good. Um, Salote, I'm just going to do a quick relationship. Um, just one card for Salote. Um, oh, Tash, great. Hopefully that made sense. Um, Jade, hello, career. Yeah, um, I've got a couple of names down, Jade, but if I can get to you, I will. Um, so just stay tuned if I mention your name. Jasmine Louise. Oh, thank you, darling. Um, what's happening in your life? Wow, what is happening in your life? Um, Jules, hello, hello. Um, okay, Cassie, peace and love. Um, Cassie, what are you after? Are you after something in particular? Um, I can add you to my list. Um, all right, Salote, let me just come in here and look at Salote, and then I'll be back with you all. Okay. Salote, what we need to do, a little bit more of this. Uh, whoops, maybe I should show you the words that would make sense, wouldn't it? Um, angel of white light. So you know what this means. Um, this is about connecting to spirit, uh, doing some meditation, and connecting to the energy of the person, you know who I'm talking about, um, on the other side. So through meditation, dreaming, all that sort of stuff, um, go within, connect to their energy, yeah, and just keep doing that. Um, I feel like that's really important, also higher self. Um, so that's what Spirit's encouraging you to do, to um, bring this in, bring the relationship in, okay? So meditation is the way to do it. Um, you know, even if you're just sort of sitting um, and, and just going within, um, but I feel like connecting to, you know, his higher self, um, will be really helpful and just asking questions and see what comes back. Um, but I definitely feel like that's the answer for you at the moment um, to bring that forward. Okay, Kaz, um, you were asking about energy. Um, now, Kaz McKellar, um, if you're still on here, mm, it's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, gosh, India. Wow, Goswami, Goswami. Um, India, a bit confused about career, Goswami. I'm going to put your name down um, and do my best to get to you. Um, we've got a little bit of time left, so don't hesitate to put your um, questions and things down here for me. Paige, hormones and relationships. Jeez, that sounds serious. Um, Paige, let me come to you as well. So if I mention... Oh, Cassie McDonald House is what you were after. Um, let me just put Cassie down because I did see her name pop up and I wanted to see what she was after house this year okay 2020 2020 in the middle of the year that's crazy um Kasma Keller so you're after just um guidance around energy levels um because I've just written energy down and sometimes a little bit uh, a little bit general yeah um so I'm just looking at Kasma Keller um and energy okay so let me just come into your uh space so since say energy it's a lot of energies in one sentence okay let me come into your space Kaz um, Kaz, what I want to say is I actually feel like when I'm in your space um, that I, I'm having trouble taking like a complete breath. Like I, I tend to take very deep breaths and I feel like I'm breathing quite shallowly. And what I feel like is I'm a little bit uh, tense um, and tight in my chest and I just feel like I can't take a complete breath. Um, I feel like I want to, with you, do a little bit of breath work um, and just focus on kind of deepening my breath um, because it just feels a little shallow to me. Um, and that's going to keep you in that sort of, you know, fight or flight. Um, we want to slow our breath down. Really important. Okay. Um, let me see what else is around you. Feeling a lot of weight on my shoulders, Kaz, as well. Um, so it's like I feel like I'm taking a responsibility, but it's not necessarily all mine to take on. So I feel like I want to hand some of that back. Um, I feel like you're a real doer. You know, give, 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 give. And it's like when's time for Kaz? Um, I feel like I really want to hand some of that back, um, that responsibility. Uh, and that's sometimes difficult. You know, people say to me, how do I do that? You know, I'm so used to doing everything. Um, and it just takes patience. You know, it takes patience because other people may not do it as well. It's about delegation. Other people may not do that thing as well. Um, and that's okay. You know, you've got to have patience with that. Um, so Kaz, let me just draw a card for you. Um, hopefully the energy stuff made a bit of sense. 
Yeah. Oh my God. You are kidding me. You are kidding me. Kaz, if you're not hearing me, hear the cars. If that's not, if that's not confirmation, I don't know what is. I don't know what is. Yeah. You're going to start delegating love. This is about boundaries, about you receiving. Boom. Yeah. Love that when that happens. Nothing more to say. Has you are delegating and a story. Okay, Chantel, you're asking about anxiety, anxiety, anxiety. Let me see where I'm going to go with that. Uh, yeah, okay, sacred geometry. Um, okay, Chantel, I'm just coming to you around anxiety. Okay, oh, Kaz, yeah, yeah. Got you there right on the raw spot. Yeah, yeah, good. Um, so, boundaries, Kaz, boundaries. Um, Chantelle, just around anxiety, hun. So let me just come into your space. Um, hopefully you're still on here. I'm looking backwards and forwards, just trying to figure out where Chantelle was, on which page, on my page or spiritual events directory. Um, so, uh, guys, while you're online still, um, if you would like private readings with me, I stay online each week a little bit later to answer questions. Um, if you have any uh, queries around what I do, um, I do angel card readings, mediumship, paranormal entity clearing, that sort of thing. I'm a clairvoyant in most of the clairs. Um, but yeah, I do a lot of business readings, um, relationship readings, all that sort of stuff. So if any of that tickles your fancy, my link is in this post um, attached to this video. Uh, and I have a book now function. So I will stay online and um, have a chat to each of you um, as you wish afterwards. Okay, uh, Chantelle, perfect. Um, so I'm just going to have a look into your energy field. Let me just come in and do that now. Private messages, private messages. Don't you love that when that pops up during your reading? All right. Um, Chantelle, I'm just going to come in too. Chantelle, what I'm feeling with you, I'm all in my throat. A lot of this is uh, up in my throat. It feels very tight and very restrictive. Um, I'm also feeling in my chest. Um, I feel like there's like a weight or a pressure on my chest. What I want to say to you, and this is something that comes up in a lot of my readings, is just some tapping. Um, big breath in, outdoors, not indoors. Um, big breath in, hold the breath, and I want to tap around here. Um, big breath in um, and release, obviously, release outdoors. Um, and then big breath in and do the same and just keep tapping. I feel like I want to do that around sort of heart space. Um, I'm also feeling it around my ribs, yeah? Um, so very much with you. And that's emotional stuff. And when it attaches to our ribs, it can be a little older. So stuff we haven't dealt with and haven't released. Um, so I'm definitely feeling it in all of those areas. So it's the same process, deep breath in, go outside, um, hold your breath, tap, 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 release the breath and just do that chest and ribs. Yeah. Um, because there's a lot of stuff going on there, emotional stuff that we're holding on to. Hence leading to the anxiety, the anxiety is, um, coming up in your chest because it's very heavy there. Um, and also your throat. So that's a really good way to release it. Um, what can happen with that once you start to do that work is that you'll start to cough. Um, a lot of people notice they start coughing. Um, and that's okay. You know, just go with it because it means you're releasing. Yeah, really important. Um, so Chantel, please do that work. Um, if you have any more questions, um, just private message me um, using that link above. That will take you to my, pray, my page. Um, okay, so let me just draw a card for you. Um, but I feel like the work starts with you. I feel like that work starts with you. Um, I also just feel like, um, who's that going to be with? I feel like I want to call in Raphael. Um, and also he's got the beautiful emerald green shower. And I feel like just maybe asking Raphael to come in and do a little healing with his emerald green shower on me. Um, so after I've done the tapping, um, I feel to call Raphael in. Um, and I feel like that would be really fabulous for you. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay, so um, I do three cards from the Sacred Geometry deck. So a bit of magic uh, going on. Sometimes that can be the influence of Merlin. Um, but that's a bit around creating um, new exciting things coming into your life, synergy. That's a sign that things are starting to fall into place for you. I feel like this is a bit of a piece in the puzzle for you. Um, so almost like unlocking another little bit of knowledge that you just need. Um, I just feel like you need a little bit of extra, this is how you do it, yeah, to move forward um, and divine masculine. So that's about um, respecting uh, the masculine side of self and allowing that to kind of balance. That's your logical um, doing, action, you know, heavier sorts of exercises, sprinting, running, you know, all that sort of stuff um, and being a little bit more sort of okay um, with the masculine, but also being willing to kind of balance the two, masculine and feminine. Um, okay. Hi, Wendy Woo. Hi, my dad happy. Um, 
I'll pop your name down um, and I'll do my best to get there, Wendy. So if I mention your name, um, don't go anywhere. Um, Dad, happy. Um, I'll do my best to get to you. Um, so Gaylene, at the moment on my list is uh, Gaylene Reed. I'm just going to come to you now. Um, you're after some general guidance. Donna Lee was after health information. Lynette Larder, 93rd birthday. That was your dad, I think it was, um, in heaven. Was that dad or mum, Lynette? You may just have to remind me. Uh, Gashwani uh, was after career. Cassie McDonald House this year. And Wendy, Wu, I've just written down, dad, is dad happy? Um, so, Gaylene, just... Oh, hang on, not Gaylene. Uh, Lynette, just remind me, was that dad or mum, 93rd birthday? Um... Oh, beautiful. Thank you, Gail. Yeah, I did a beautiful reading for um, Gail and then for her dad. Uh, Goswami, you missed my question. I think guide me for career. Yes. No, I've got that down for Goswami. I've got career. Yeah, that's all good. Um, oh, thank you, Scotte. Um, yeah, Jason is going to have a happy birthday. I bought him a little vegan surprise. Vegan surprise in the freezer. Um, I won't say because he's watching. Uh, Gaylene, okay, you're after some general guidance. Let me just do that for you. Um, Gaylene, I'm just going to come into your energy, hun. Um, just bear with me and I will let you know what I'm feeling. Gosh, Gaylene, I think you've got all guns blazing, love. You have all guns blazing. Um, I do feel like I have a tendency to burn the candle at both ends, though, um, and that's a potential to head into kind of adrenal fatigue and exhaustion um, where I'm like, you know, go like crazy, go like crazy, and then, like, I need to sleep, you know, for a day. Um, that's funny. Same card as before, um, Gaylene start delegating um that's what i was just saying yeah i feel like you're sort of burning the candle at both ends um it's like i can do that for so long um and then i get exhausted yeah and then i've got to sleep and i can't see people and then i recover and then i'm sort of hell for leather hell for leather um what i'm feeling very much for you is again this is about boundaries so similar to the lady i read for before um you need to start asking for help you can't do everything you can't i try doesn't work yeah can't do everything. Okay. So hopefully that makes sense to you. Very similar to before. Uh, Donna Lee, I'm just going to come into your energy field. You were talking about health as well. Where are my fairies? All right. So I'm going to come to the fairies. Um, I like doing fairies for health. Uh, oh, I just flew out. I haven't even started shuffling yet. So I'm going to put it back in and see if it comes out again. Hmm. Sometimes it does. Um, okay. So Donna Lee, I'm going to come into your space. Um, Miriam, Love life, Miriam. Oh, I love love life. I'm a, uh, yeah, love the love life. Um, I do a lot of very in-depth relationship readings one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Uh, love and direction focus. I resigned from my previous role three months ago. That's Angie Sheridan. Hi, hey, Angie. Linda. Oh, my God. Tracy Ann, are you kidding? I told um, Tracy Ann's daughter in a reading this morning to look out for rainbows. They're going to be a sign that she's heading in the right direction. And she saw a double rainbow with her mum today after the reading. Isn't that incredible? God, I love that. Love spirit. Amazing. Uh, Donna Lee, just coming into health. Okay. So let me just come into Donna Lee's um, energy there. Okay. <clears throat> Donna, I feel like you're very studious. I don't know why I'm saying that. Um, I just feel like you're very studious. I feel like I'm very much um, in my head and I like to continue learning. I'd like to continue learning. Uh, that's not to do with health, but I feel like potentially I need to come back down into my body a little bit more because I do feel like I'm very much in my head uh, in terms of, you know, the study and wanting to learn and things like that. But for some reason, I feel like I just want the energy to flow better down here, okay? Um, I am carrying weight in certain areas of my body and that's a reflection of where there's blockages and I just feel like I'm carrying it a little bit around the middle more than I should um so what I want to say is just have a look at uh solar plexus and you just put your hands there you know just put your hands on your solar plexus and see how that feels um but it feels like I'm carrying a little bit of weight here um and so it's really important to you know put your hands there encourage the healing to happen um, because that's your gut, you know, stomach, all of that. It's a really important part of our body. We really want the energy to flow. I feel like the energy is flying sort of in my head, but just not so well down here, um, which is really important. I also feel like similarly to what I told someone earlier is you need a bit of a grounding exercise because the energy needs to flow up through my feet. Um, and I don't feel like it's flowing up there as well as it could. Okay. Um, let me just draw a couple of cards around health. Yeah, I don't feel great in that gut, um, in that gut area. Um, so digestive system, you know, bowel movements, all that sort of stuff is all controlled in that area. Um, and I feel like it's sluggish. 
Yeah, I feel like it's sluggish. Um, so look, soups, broths, um, really good. Anything warm, teas. Um, you just want to get the energy sort of flowing through that area and be very kind and gentle um, with your body um, so that it can, you know, allow the energy to flow through there. Really important. Um, so the energy that comes, sorry, the card, the energy, the card that comes up for you around that is letting go. Um, so there's a bit of resistance. And what that, the way that manifests in our body, if we're not willing to let go, is that the energy sticks and it stays there. And of course, with the solar plexus, it's power and control. Makes sense. So it's about letting go. If you start a practice of letting go um, of your need to control um, situations around you and come back and keep remembering that we can only control and change ourselves, you're going to start to let go. The energy is going to start to flow. Very important. Lynette Lada, 93rd birthday. All right, mum. Great. I didn't write mum down. So let me just check with mum. Um, Lynette Lada. Um, I'm going to use my butterfly. Uh, okay, and I'm going to connect to mum because I felt when you said mum, uh, well, you must have said mum in the reading because um, in the post before because I was feeling um, that energy. So let me just connect to Lynette Lada's mum. Okay, um, I do squeeze mediumship in here. Um, it takes a little bit longer to sort of connect, um, but I always do try to get mediumship in here. So if you do want to connect to you know pets, I read for a lady who had two pets in heaven, um, two little dogs. And that was absolutely beautiful, really, really beautiful. Um, great reading, and uh, and she loved it. Very emotional, though, very emotional, as I always are. Um, Lena, I just want to point that one out. So that one flew out of the deck. So there's a requirement for you to be a little brave, yeah, a little brave. Um, so I'm going to see what that looks like for you. Um, no, I do do legal, huh, um, Shazza, but I tend to do legal stuff one-on-one -on -one because it takes a little bit uh, more time. Um, Shazza, I'll send you some beautiful healing energy, but if you want any info on legal, um, oh, you've got court tomorrow anyway, so I guess you'll probably know by then. Um, but yes, I do do one-on-one -on -one readings and I do look into legal and, and all that sort of stuff. Oh, that's good, good Gaylene, good feedback. Um, very good feedback. All right, so Lynette Lada, I'm just coming into mum's energy now, so 93rd birthday. Okay, whoops. Another one just flipped upside down. Um, this often happens when I do mediumship. Um, the cards just do their own thing. Um, I've got no real control over them. Um, okay, so I'm just going to connect to mum. Oh, she's fabulous. Um, what I see first and foremost is this great big smile. And it's like um, just a really big smile. And it's like I've got my best frock on. Um, she knows that she's kind of in the public eye, um, which is great. Um, a lot of spirit when I'm doing mediumship, they'll do something kind of special or unique. Um, but I feel like with mom that she's like I've got my, you know, my best kind of, you know, jacket, um, my lovely dress. Um, I've got a little brooch on. I feel like I've got a little brooch. Um, so it's like brooches were something that she did. Um, but this great big smile, great big smile. And the color is like really pale blue. Um, so really beautiful pale blue. Um, I feel like, and she's not connecting to me physically. It takes a little while to get that physical sort of connection. Um, but what I do feel like as I'm sitting down, I'm not standing up. So that's an indication potentially um, with an issue around legs um, and a weakness in the legs. But she's not connecting with me physically showing me that. It's more that she's showing me she's sitting down. Um, I also feel like I'm sort of sitting at a card table or something. Um, so there's a feeling there whether or not, um, that just flipped upside down, whether or not she was like a card player, but I feel like I'm sort of at a card table. It looks like a card table, like a smaller sort of table. Um, I wonder if I was doing that with other people before I passed, if that was like a little fun game or something, or was it bingo, but I'm sitting at a little table and it feels like a card table. Um, okay. So Lynette, hopefully that made sense. Um, but she's, she's looking good. Um, but she's sitting down. So I just want to point that out. Um, I always make a note of that. Sometimes I come through in a wheelchair with Willy Walker, but in particular, mum's just sitting down. She's not showing me any assistance with the walking, um, but that's how she's coming through to me. Um, sorry, the cards that came through, uh, that jumped out with those ones. So realizations and epiphanies and also courage. Um, so that sense that we need to be a little bit brave um, at the moment moving forward, but things are starting to make sense. Whoops, things are starting to make sense over here. Um, realizations and epiphanies. Um, so I feel like just keep trusting and listening um, and you're on the right track. Okay, uh, Goswami, um, I'm just going to do career for Goswami. Um, hello to everyone who's uh, still on here. Um, oh gosh, Natalie, that's, um, oh gosh. 
Um, Natalie, and for everyone who's on here at the moment, um, I do start at 7.15. So if you um, want to tune in next week, um, I you know try to get on here as quickly as possible to that 7.15 mark. Um, and yes, and get on and ask those questions um, as early as you can. Hello, Anthony. Um, so Goshwami, I'm just going to come into career for you. I've got my life purpose cards. Um, so let me just bring these up for you. Goshwami, Goshwami, um, career. Okay, so Goshwami, let me just come into your energy. Goshwami, I feel like you're flat out, mate. I feel like I'm like my head, when I come connect to energy, my head is just buzzing. Um, I feel like you're like a million miles a minute, like a million miles a minute. That's crazy. That's insane. Um, I don't know how you do it. You have insane energy levels, like insane. Um, you know, I don't feel like what I'm doing at the moment is really uh, satisfying. I don't feel like it's, um, you know, meeting my needs. Uh, I do feel like I want to head in a different direction, but I feel like you have to be sort of um, sensible about it, you know, maybe um, suss other things out um, and sort of, you know, go across that way. I wouldn't make any dramatic moves. I don't feel like that's a good idea. Um, but you are a million miles a minute. You are like one of those little energizer buddies that you just, you know, wind up and they just keep going forever. Um, that's quite incredible. Yeah. But I'm very much up in my head. Um, so I'm very, very smart. My brain, yeah, switched on and it's using both sides. I feel like I'm quite balanced with my brain, which is really awesome. Love that. Um, you have fantastic energy, so much energy, so much energy. I feel like it can be better directed, um, elsewhere though. Um, I just don't feel like it's really rewarding, um, where I am at the moment. I feel like I want to go somewhere else, um, but be sensible about it. Um, don't make any dramatic moves. Um, to just see what's, what else is out there. I feel like just suss it out. Um, yeah. All right. So keep, you're on the right path. So I feel like you're aware, you're aware that there's more. Um, so just trust that and keep your eyes peeled um, because there's definitely something else um, on the horizon for you. Um, I feel like I'm going to get booted off. However, I really wanted to come to Cassie um, because Cassie wanted to know about the house. So uh, sorry to whoever's on after me. Um, I think it's the boys. Um, Cassie, I just want to come to you about your house. Let me just check in with your energy. Cassie McDonald. Okay, let me just come in. Uh, house this year, house this year. Cassie, I feel like as well, I'm going to say something similar to what I said earlier um, with the lady who's going for the job interview this week. Um, I feel like I just want to sort of let go a little bit. So what I want to say to you is get your vision clear. Um, so whether you do like a little vision board, you know, go on the computer, have a look at ideal houses that, you know, I really want um, and pin it up. So you want the visual first and foremost. Second, I want to ask for the finances. So you just ask spirit, you know, spirit, um, would you please, would you mind? Um, providing the finances, this is approximately what we need, you know, for this house, a deposit, all of that. Um, and then thank you in advance, let it go. Um, so allow spirit to provide this for you. Um, I feel like I'm going about it the wrong way. I feel like I want what want, but you actually have to be really specific. Um, so I want that visual for you. Um, so I just feel like go online, you know, print some photos off, stick them up on the wall. That's a card that jumped out. Okay, so this is very, definitely heart space for you. Um, the house is there, huh? The house is there. It's just sometimes when you want, 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 um, you're not in receiving mode. You're always in asking mode. We want to come into receiving mode. Super important. Make sure you're present, paying attention to signs like the rainbow that I was talking about before. Um, it's definitely there, but get that visual so that you're clear, so spirit can be clear as well and they can deliver. But make sure you ask for the money. Thank you in advance. Um, really important to put yourself in receiving mode. Okay. Uh, thank you to everyone who's uh, stayed online tonight. Um, I love it every week. This is like my favorite time of the week, connecting with you guys, you know, doing readings around healing relationships, all that sort of stuff. Um, and also with the mediumship, I really love that. So keep asking for that. Um, we'll be back next uh, Monday night, 7.15. Um, and I will stay online tonight. So if there's any questions, queries, anything you want to know about what I do, how I do it, um, then please connect with me. The link is in this post. So when I shut off this video, um, you'll be able to see the link in the post and you'll be able to uh, connect with me there. And I've got a book now function, which will show you my availability. Um, so thank you, everyone. Um, Lynette, thank you for the confirmation. Um, Mum was bedridden. Okay, so that makes sense. Um, oh my gosh, the dress she was buried in was pale blue. Wow. Lynette, that's amazing. Thank you so much for connecting. Um, Mum's just delightful. Um, if you ever want to connect one-on-one -on -one and, and, you know, oh, bingo and brooches. Oh, my God, it was all there. See how much you can get in, like, a couple of minutes. That's incredible. Happy birthday to your mum. That's just beautiful, Lynette. And, um, yeah, everyone else, if you want to connect one-on-one, -on -one, uh, the link's now. So I'll be jumping off, and I'll see you guys next week.
Bye. Mm-hmm.